What's going on, gamers? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We are playing some more Enter the Gungeon. Uh, howdy, gamers. We're going to be working on the elevator a bit today, in addition to going for the past a second time as the convict. Held up the number two to my computer screen as if there's a webcam on, but there's not. Uh, but yeah, basically, we don't really want to be using any of our resources. Because I don't quite remember what all we need to be uh, saving for the elevator. I'm pretty sure a decent chunk of money needs to be saved. I'm almost certain a master round is going to be required for every single one. Uh, so hopefully we can get the master round on the first floor here. I mean, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a top priority. Obviously, we can use our blanks on this floor. That's not going to really matter. Uh, because they're going to be recharged up to two. Unless, of course, it requires three. In that case, we can figure that out on the next floor. It's not anything to really worry about right now. Thanks for the keys, though. We got to, like, speed running this. Speed running this son of a gun. Not going to get to it. Get to the... I did it. I did it. Holy moly. So, wait. I didn't have a shield, did I? It seemed like I took damage. It seemed like I took damage, but I don't think I did. I think there was just an explosion somewhere else on the screen that tripped me up. Because we're still at full HP. Happily trade the uh, the blank for a key in that situation. That's like a pretty solid trade. However, we do need to make sure, like I said, we do get the... Uh, uh oh, save the barrel. Save the barrel. Need to make sure we get the two barrels, right? Like that. Mass round. There, finally got the darn thought out. Okay, trying real hard to get the darn ooh, value out of the chandeliers, and I actually almost got myself popped there. Uh, sure. Battle standard. Um, I actually kind of like getting this early, despite the fact that it's technically useless right now. Uh, right now, literally, it's not helping us at all because it just buffs up the damage of our pets. However, getting it increases your chance greatly. Of, uh, of actually getting a pet. So, and since I like them a decent chunk, I think they're all, a lot of them are pretty darn handy. And it's it's a nice, it's a nice get. It's a nice get, especially if we were to get something like Super Space Turtle mixed with it and it can go a long way. Whether or not we're going to this floor, I'm not sure. But apparently, in order to unlock the guaranteed water barrel in this room, we need to blast open and darn thing with it. Because apparently uh, using a water-based weapon doesn't cut it for the unlock. Boop. There we go. We did it. We darn did it. So what are we doing? We got so many keys. But if we go to the next... If we go to the, the sewers, we might not actually get enough keys. But if we don't go to the sewers, we might not get enough money. Oh, what a world. What a world. We'll definitely give up our mass around if we get it. I got no problem with that. I got no qualms there. No qualms there. You know, want to make sure we. I kind of want to, you know, get a better weapon though. Guarantee we get a mass around here. Okay, well that's all pretty easy to pass up. Nothing there makes me sad to to have a lost. No gun of note. All right. I think we can sacrifice one, right? Hot lead, I'll take it. I'll happily take it. Just don't be the Bullet King. I think he's immune to fire. Oh. Well, actually, maybe he's not immune to fire. Maybe he's just immune to ground fire. No, he's immune to fire. Disappointing. Disappointing. All right, so we're going to have to do this pretty legit with just uh, just the soft, the good news is he does kind of chase you down and at a pretty fast speed, making it so the shotgun is actually not too shabby. Thankfully, hate this. If we get him up to the top wall. He has an attack where he shoots the ball above his head. That will actually just straight up fizzle if he does it when he's. Lining the top wall. Right there. You see that? Pretty slick. If you're really looking for a cheaty way to handle the boss, that's kind of the way to do it, I guess. 
I don't utilize it too much because I guess I don't typically need it. Gungeon Ant. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's actually look up the elevator rewards. And we'll use that. Or elevator, dungeon, what are the requirements? I'm sure it'll tell us if we go to the wiki. The first requirements. It's going to be three blanks. All right. I mean, that's fine. Three blanks. Three keys, 120 shells. Okay. Ten credits and one master round. Hmm. Well, first of all, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, the three blanks, we'll just have to get a blank on the next floor. 120. We're not going to get 120 shells unless we go to the sewers. But we might not get enough keys unless we don't go to the sewers. All I know is that this is definitely going to get blown up. That changes things a bit. Okay, so now we got four keys. Now we can go to we can go to the sewers. And we don't need to buy a key, right? We'll be at two. We'll definitely be able to get one more on the next floor. We might have to spend money. Uh alright. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. We can work with that. We can work with that. Unfortunately, uh, we do have to work with this as well. Dungeon Ant, I mean, I feel like the fire, the fire fire of it is not the worst. It's kind of like a weird slow pitchfork. Alright. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, really weird slow pitchfork. I mean, hitting, okay. Seems like hitting the enemies with the, the oil bolt leaves the pool if they're on fire oh if they're on fire so i mean that's kind of nice i guess i mean i'm tr i'm just trying to i'm scraping for for uh, value here table tech portable table tech device portable table device there we go finally got it it's uh, it's not bad i mean you, we're gonna need some table tech items i think to really get value out of it though can actually push back pretty hard with this without any uh, actual table tech devices it's kind of just like it's useful because tables are useful but it's kind of weird to uh, to manage since it's on a charge system it's on a three charge system it does not start charging back up until you used all three which i think can cause some problems uh honestly this is going okay right now it will not continue to, though. Okay, we'll use one table there. Old Red, how dare you? I'm not convinced that means there's... Okay, should have been convinced. Alright. Well, we could have, like, brought three blanks to the next floor. I guess I'm just... I probably shouldn't have done that. Because I think the first thing is th the three blanks. So if our shop on the next floor doesn't have... The blanks. Oh, yikes. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. If I can bring three blanks to the next floor, that is good. But we don't really want to spend money. Ay, ay, ay. Don't really want to spend any money. Don't really want to open up any chests. This is going to be definitely a very hindered run. Very hindered. I like that we got the tables down. We can spread the oil on them. That's kind of it's kind of slick. A little something. A little something slick. Okay. Oh. Well, you know what? What's working is this when we get the hot lead. That's what's that's what's nice. Okay. So it's almost like it's maybe our better fire today because of the hot lead. Weird. 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 Alright. Oh, I hate this one. Don't blank, don't blank, don't blank. What the hell? I, I put down the table device and they went over here! What on earth? What? 
You guys saw that? I put down the table and it spawned over on the right side. What the hell? How could I have expected that? That's not fair. I'm displeased. Displeased. How dare. How freaking dare. Alright. We are not fire immune. So this build is like a little wild. With that in mind. Got a lot of fire stuff. Not a lot of fire safety. Okay, like that's not working. Okay, and that's that. Back to the standard here. Once again, we're in a rough spot in the sewers. It just is continually happening. I actually would really like that. Goop then. Goop then. Not gonna get in there. All right, this is turning out to be a little awful. We may be in a pretty darn bad spot, depending on what we get from it. the next boss. So we have to sacrifice so much. All right. What? It's locked, though. Oh, my God. How dare you do this to me? How dare you do this to me? I might go back. I'll probably go back for it. I'll almost definitely go back for it. There's a key in the store. I think we can go back for it. There should, which I think there has to be a key in every store, because so, we didn't buy one. Okay, 122. How much is the key? 30. We can get 30. We can get 30. It's, it's a red chest, and honestly, even if it's a health upgrade, I wouldn't mind it right now. Old Knight's Flask. I will actually just keep it. I want to try to make use of it. I want to try to make use of it. I mean, we can leave this floor with full HP like this. Huh. Kind of handy today since we have to sacrifice a lot of stuff. This makes it so we, like, really don't have to buy any help. Huh. Hot lead is coming in handy, making it so we are at least doing a little bit of extra fire damage. At this rate, I think we can blank, we'll blank here. I think we're way better off. Unless he drops drops a blank, which I don't think bosses are scripted to be allowed to. I'm, I'm not positive on that. But I feel like I haven't really seen it because blanks are significantly less useful after the boss. So maybe they just have it scripted to not do it. But I'm, I don't know. Maybe they do, and I just don't pay attention to it because I wouldn't use it. The fun situation here is we can take a, a hit, and it doesn't matter at all. Because this boss does not have a master round. This boss don't got one. And we got the old Knight's Blast to get an extra heal off, so... I don't know. Maybe it, maybe I undervalue the old Knight's Blast, especially for, like, newer players. I could imagine it being a, a pretty handy tool to have. Because, like, putting yourself in these situations where you have to save up all these resources is kind of, you know, hindering yourself. It lets me see the game in an in a older way again. We got less tools at our disposal. Look at all them freaking keys. How many do we need? We need three, so we can actually open up this, too. The Judge. That's, like, not bad. That's not bad. We're not going to go to the Abbey. You're free, sucker. We had that one day, too. We can take a lot. Alright. Womp. Book it. Book it. We're, we should get 16 shells on the next. Hopefully we get 16 and enough to buy a blank. Just don't use any, any blank stuff. That's like our big thing right now. Don't use any blanks. We have the old knight's flask, so we really don't have to. Really don't have to. Whoop. Okay. Thank you. Bonus key. Do not do this. It's a trap. It's a trap as of right now. 
We'll see if we get enough money, but I'm kind of thinking we won't. What a world. I actually want to fill that up. Apparently, the arm's here. Okay, good deal. We actually could open this. We have enough keys. I might. I might. I goofed it. I goofed it. There's the balloon. There we go. Now, it, now it's going to be on a 4 1 next time. Slowly but surely, baby. Slowly but surely. Okay, we need one more blank, and then we got everything we need for the elevator. So it's going to be a weird thing where I, I'm going to either need a blank drop, which I feel like happens usually. Otherwise, we're going to need to buy a blank, which is 24, which we'll, we'll be able to get that too. Hopefully, one just drops. Hopefully, one just drops. So we've got to work on the rat key as well. So having a little extra money to donate would be nice. I'm not counting on it. Not counting on it, but it would be nice. Oh, don't be gooped. Okay, glass guan stones. Hey. I believe that's one of the elevator goals. I guess we could, in theory, maybe unlock two elevator things this, on the same run if it allows you. I don't know that it allows you. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at the requirements and we'll make a we'll make some choices accordingly. All right. Yeah, we got enough to do it, but I'm just gonna clear the floor out see if we can get a blank just from a drop. Per chance, would be pretty slick. Doesn't seem like it's super likely at the moment. We can open up one. We might as well. All right, banana, big charge. Uh, splits off. It's a little, I don't know. I'm not into it too much. It's not bad, though. It's really not bad. Like, if we had it on the second floor or the, um, the sewers, we would have been using it over all our other stuff. It's usable. It's usable. But a bit dangerous at the same time. Okay. T didn't talk about the judge either. either. Obviously, uh, the last shot of it does a random effect. Uh, so, meaning, you know, it's another one of those guns that you really don't, don't want to reload early. Don't want to reload early. All right, we could fight the boss just right now, I guess. But then I feel like I'll do the blank effect. All right, you know what? We'll just go get this out of the way right now. Because I'll probably accidentally blank. Down we go. Hi there, I'm starting fixing this thing, but I'm gonna need some parts to get it working. These bullet elevators leave a lot of debris in their wake, so I need to clear some out of the way. I need three blanks. Hey, you've got 120 and three keys. I can use those for parts. Can I have them? Yes. Thanks, I'll go buy the parts. Whoa, this is exactly what I need. The power of the other. Can I have it? Well, thank you. Must have been very hard to get it. I'll go install it. There you go. That's the most of the parts taken care of. I'm going to have some other things from... Order some other things from the special acquisition parts. Can you give me 10 credits? Here we go. We're all set. Meet me in the breach. Okay, so therefore, we cannot... I assume... That means we cannot do two in a row. Otherwise, he wouldn't say meet me in the breach. All right. Who we got, though, baby? Who we got? All right. I would love an easy an, an easy master on which this should be, but I just made things hard for myself. I just made things very hard for myself by being up here. Oh, my God. That was so bad. Okay. I hate not having blanks. I always like to save one for the boss. I feel so naked. This is actually, like, the sloppiest fight here. Oh, my God. All right. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Not bad. Thank you for the health upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. Nano machine, son. Get the Thompson submachine gun upgrade. It makes it quite a bit better. Eight extra shells in the uh, in the darn thing, I guess. We could munch some stuff. I almost don't want to munch the gungeon ant. 
you know what? I'm gonna munch this and uh, and actually the banana. Like I I'm gonna give it a go. I know I know it's not a smart munch, but I'm curious. We might get something good. Who knows? <laughs> or maybe we'll get the dueling pistol, which is really not what we wanted. Such a bad gun. Such a bad gun. Such a bad gun. Such a bad gun. All right. Well, at least we got the uh, Thompson submachine gun to do some wrecking. On to the next. We'll jump into the pit, but, like, there's no way in hell. Right? Like, there's no way in hell. Can you bring me three shields? Whoa, that is exactly what I need. Can I have it? We can't finish this today. So we need four keys, 180 shells, 15 credits, master round two, and four junk. There's no way. There's no way we'll get that all right now. So I'm going to actually hold on to... Wait. I don't care if he has the shields. You can take the shields. You can take the shields, but I'm gonna hold on to the master round because we'll get it next run instead. Just so we don't, you know, like throw throw our run because we have no HP. Just don't want to have none. Could we handle it? Yeah, probably. Because then we would just uh, we'd hopefully go on and get the master round on this floor and the next, and we do have the uh, the healing flask. But truth be told, I, I think I'm just gonna. You know, I think I'll get the master round on the next run and we'll be okay. Bite me, mister. Okay. We run out of this, it's gonna be a rough situation. I'll fill up that, though. This gun is pretty solid right now. I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe we can sacrifice. I'll see how feisty I'm feeling. I'll tell you what. If I get the third master round, if I definitely get the third master round, then I will go back and sacrifice it since we do have the flask, and we are only going to the past to unlock the alt weapon. We are not going to bullet hell. Oh my god! Let's say that was uh, completely on purpose. Absolutely, completely on purpose. Four junk. I mean, yeah, four junk we obviously cannot get at this point. We could get one, two. Maybe we could get two. I Maybe with an end of room job or a secret room, we could possibly get four junk, but we definitely cannot get 140 shells. The fun thing is uh, the one that's going to be on the hollow, we can go through that and do the... Do the, sh the cell creep there. So that's actually pretty slick at the very least. That'll be something. Bada bing bada bow. Should we just fight this? Probably not. Oh boy. Oh, Clarota. Oh boy. Okay. From a distance. Not an ease not the easiest master round of these because he's got an absurd amount of HP. Quite a bit more than a lot of the other bosses on this floor. Like a bonkers amount higher. This is gonna be dangerous. But we got two blanks though. That's the big thing. We got two blanks. We could use them on these if we're really feeling like it. Which it might have been wise. Because this sucks a lot. Oh. Oh my god. I freaked out so much that I actually tabbed out. Okay. Get him, 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 get him. We got the blank left. We could use it. But let's assert dominance and not... Okay, Rubidine prototype. Don't mind that one bit. Eh, 
And sure, let's do it. Since we definitely got the one there. There you go. So that and then four junk is all we need. We can we can do that. We can do that tomorrow. Oh god, he got a critical he got a critical roll there. Got a uh holy mole. When they turn golden like that, that means they roll the that means they roll the twenty. And they really bop you. They truly, truly do. They do all their spells. They can also roll the critical fail, making it so they, you know, it's to die. That's what the, that's what's going on when that happens. Whoop, up, 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 up. I'm gonna assume that it's like a they it's like a one in twenty chance. That'd be kind of slick. Okay. I'm happy to have this gun. Is it like the craziest, most strong weapon on this side of the Mississippi? No, not at all. But it's pretty darn solid. I don't really care if I accidentally break that. We got no keys. We could could afford one. Okay, didn't even need to roll at the end there. The flask does fill itself up at the end of every whoop, the end of every floor. I'm actually gonna go with the judge. I feel like it lasts longer. Oh. What is this, 35 now? 35, yep. Price goes up. Each floor. Magic sweet. What a great one to get. We move faster, more HP. I believe we get a little bit of damage too. It's just all around like a nice freaking thing to have especially on a run where you've sacrificed some uh, some HP containers really nice on a run like that but what do you know that's this run I wonder could we jump down further okay no the elevator symbol's gone all right I didn't think so I had this I'm curious you didn't even need to use the flask there Don't need to do that. It's just kind of fun. Put it out. All right. This run is looking quite clean at this point. Oh my god! Compare it to yesterday. Jeez Louise, man. Not even close, baby. All right. Well, I don't like that. You don't want to use the uh, the old knight's flask, the Estus flask, in the middle of fights. You do actually force your character to stand still a bit, Dark Souls style. I hate this. I hate this one. I hate this one. We might not have even needed to do it, so I didn't follow my own uh, my own instructions on that one. Okay, thank you for the key. I actually like that's really handy. Uh, I'm gonna use it right away because otherwise that means that was gonna explode on us. So. Also, the shell is really solid. It's really, really solid. It's one of those ones that I didn't realize how good it was until I truly watched how uh, how much it shredded bosses. That was a bad dodge that went okay. Boink, boink. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it does better on bosses that are like large. Look at all these tendrils. Cause maybe it, maybe it interacts with them differently because it seems to be like it seems like it does okay for room clear maybe be better if we like hit past the enemy excited to see all the stuff we can't have because we've sacrificed all our money and like do hp containers Ooh. pop pop bullets from nowhere 10 shells uh 10 casings and then we can oh okay Ten casings and boy oh boy we would have a small chance to get a bonus effect shooting extra bullets and then you can after that you can keep on going but it increases by 10 every single time so it'd be 10 to increase the amount of bullets once uh, 20 to increase it again 30 to increase it again it's a pretty fun try is it good yeah 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 but it's more kind of just fun and memey than it is than it is like run changing. It's it's good though. It's good, but you can put a lot of money into it. 
unnecessarily because you might think that it'd be amazing to shoot a bajillion bullets at once and it is but also like boss damage cap exists <laughs> making it not as fun as it seems but it's still really it's still really good still really fun to have the boss damage cap really just like throws a damper on a lot of op runs you know it really makes it so you can't oh my god just do everything anything you want you gotta you gotta follow the darn rules of the road sell some stuff yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be nice to come to the next do the next one because uh we can just do the cell creep the cell creep on this guaranteed cell creep on this floor didn't exist back when the elevator situation was first you know in the game introduced okay i'll take that be nice to have that too for uh for sacrificing bikes because you just get three on the next floor just like that just that easy Right. Don't need to kill him, but we do get extra money, which can be worth it. But sometimes, you know, it's, you gotta wonder, like, is it even worth the the ammo that I'm spending on it? Eh, sometimes no. You can just use your standard if you're worried about that truly, though. Where's your friend? Do you have one? I don't think he's got one. You don't got no friend. That's sad. Five of shots left in there, and they're gone. Continually running out of ammo today here. Logically so. I mean, we're giving up a lot of money and everything like that. All right, that seems like the wallmonger to me. We got 58 shells. Gate casings, rather. Um, what was in here? I know we got the pop pop. Stuff star is really good. We would have to sacrifice our Estus flask, which is working fine. And whenever you're thinking, oh, god dang it. I actually took my hand off the keyboard, and when I put it back on, I put it in the wrong spot. That is sad. I don't even want it! The th here's the thing, here's the thing. You might be saying, like, but yesterday you said Stuff Star was so great. This is okay, this is a good idea. This, this gives me the chance to introduce the concept of value propositions of items, and how active items are a little bit different you have to it's not like the stuff star let's say it gives you let's say it gives you 10 value points and the estus flask gives you eight when i have estus flask and i see that right there that's a value proposition of two it's not a value proposition of 10. you know what i'm saying like this is eight that's 10. that means that we are we have to trade them unless we're the pilot or we have an act, extra active slot we have to trade them. So it's a value proposition of like, like two. Where honestly, maybe the heart locket is like a three. You know? Who knows? Uh, so we basically just gained a lot of curse on accident. But it does allow me to talk about that whole value proposition thing. So that being said, the, the stuff star might be better off. I mean, at the very least, let's, let's do this. Do a little bit of this. We can do some weirdness where we take this so we don't actually have to choose. Okay, so it's not even the Walmart. We don't have to choose this way. Apparently we do, because apparently the rat's right there. But we got him. We bopped him. No problemo. Okay. So there we go. We can get them all on fire real easy. We want to be careful about doing the alt fire, though. Spreading the oil could actually become a problem. Truly, truly looking for the explosive round with this. Extra handy. It's usually the best, in my opinion, and extra today. We are in this room here. Because of the AoE nature of it. You want to keep on spreading the fire love there. Gotta go back to the one that was almost dead there. That's him. All right. Okay, let's find. Oh no, they just they spread out evil. They don't. I have my space bar again, but I'm kind of holding on to it until the time where I'm 
feeling a little bit on edge again about this, which is not right now. This move does not frighten me at all. This move frightens me sometimes. And honestly, we can get in here and use a weapon that's maybe not normally as spooky strong. Okay, get one down. It's the other one. Get that one. All right. Whoop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. It's going to take a little while, but at least we have the flaming bullets. Really shows you how bullet modifiers can actually be quite useful. Because in this situation, you can really see the damage it can do. This would take almost, probably like twice as long without the freaking fire. Which is a little wild, a little sad. Oh, mama, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we don't have anything to do with the Estus Flask now. And we might as well, might as well just ditch. Might as well just ditch. I guess we will do our pop pop. We'll do one pop pop. Since I see we got up to 12 shells. Go. All right. On to the next. Could have even blanked there, but oh well, oh well. Not going to cry over uh, lost value. I could, but I won't. But we got this bad boy. Kind of want to hold on to it. Rest in peace. The e shop. Alright. Not a fan of what I've done there. Not a fan of what I've done. I am gonna keep using this because honestly our other stuff is pretty bad until we get some ammo. Uh oh. Ha! Ah, Uno reverse card, baby! Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is, this is good. This is good value. I always like to do this, even if it means I might get hit. Because it's an extra chest, you know? The value proposition's quite high. Yoink. 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 Oh, finally it's paid off! Bada bing, bada bow. He's got extra damage in town. Go get him, baby. He's got boosted damage and fire rounds. Look at that. He's... That might not look like he's killing that fast, but you have to realize... You have to compare him to, like... You can compare him to, like, um, freaking... Hot leg. You know? For, for damage. And when you think about it that way, he's doing so much. One, two, three, four. Four shots. Holy moly, it took a long time to get that value that I was talking about, and it it paid off, though. Paid off. It, you do have to think of it as two items, though. But still, I love me the Super Space Turtle. And it's so worth it. It's so worth two items right now. Completely. Like, he could, he could take down the dragon by himself. Like, if we really wanted. And maybe we'll give a look at... <laughs> give him a chance to try to prove that. We'll see. Uh-oh. 18 shots left. Do him from afar for no good reason. What do you got, babe? Melted Rock. That is a value proposition of a negative 10, I'd say, to be honest. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a good time to mention the fact that I do actually have a website that is currently not updated with a tier list of all the items. It's from pre-AG&D, so it does need to be tweaked, but it's like loosely, very loosely still correct with my opinion. It's called retoscale.com, retoscale.com, R-E-T-O, the way you spell my... My nickname, scale.com. It's got a list of one, they're all rated on a scale of one to 10. Uh, they're, yeah, they're not up to date for, for AG&D and synergies are not factored in because they can't, I just like, it'd have to be a completely different list. And maybe I will tweak that. Maybe I'll edit that at some point. 
but you can have that open with you. Bottle unlocked. You can have that open when you're playing the game if you truly, truly need uh, someone looking over your shoulder saying, eh, I don't think you got, like, I don't think you need to buy that. I don't think you need to open that chest. I don't, you know, you got a good enough run. You can, you can hold out. Save your keys. You know, things like that. Bow up. 800. I feel like we can, we can just have a fun time. Just use up all the ammo. Who cares? We're going to be okay. At this point, I know that for certain. Thank you. 32 shells. I mean, honestly, I want the key. The AC 15 is actually quite good. Oops. Does especially with nano machines. It's a it's a gun that does pretty fine damage normally, but if you have a shield, it does really solid piercing damage and lasts a really long time. So it's a very handy weapon for when you have shields so things like nano machines where giving you uh, honestly half of this is worth more than full anything else where you're usually gonna have shields because nano machines is an amazing item especially for people who are new makes it so every three times you're hit you gain a shield if you get that early on that um that really adds up really adds up it's a it's an item where when i was doing just normal lich streaking in my other series Whenever I would get it, I'd be like, okay, I mean, I'm probably, I was probably going to win anyways, but this just guarantees it. It's one of those. It's just, it gives you enough health proposition where it's a big deal, you know? Really big deal. Get him, turtle. Get him, 30G. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we probably shouldn't use up all this ammo. It'd be fun to have it for the dragon. But I'm not too worried about that. Thanks. Not too worried about the dragon. Honestly, I'm probably more likely to get hit in these rooms leading up to the dragon than on the dragon with four blanks. So honestly, maybe it's better to have the ammo for this. All in all, it just doesn't matter at all, though. We'll be okay. Like we have we have way too much health to be in any kind of a any kind of danger. Which is nice after yesterday. Not that we were really in danger when we hit the forge. When we hit the forge, we were fine. Stop following me, Charmed Bow. Yeah, figured. The ammo might have been a better idea, to be honest. Just putting ammo in our uh, our big boy gun. Wow. That is about as useless as it gets right now. It increases the chance of after chest room... <laughs> after room chest drops. Uh, if, you, if you're not aware... We can't get him anymore. Because we're going to the past. Did we get the bullet? We did. We are going to the freaking past. Alright. Ran out right when we probably would have wanted it the most. Ah, oh, this is bad. It's a good thing we have the turtle. He's going to show his, uh, his value here. That's for sure. I bet you he's doing just as much damage as I am. That is so sad. We do have uranium amulet, so whenever we blank, we can um, we can poison him a bit. Poison. It, it doesn't look like he can get poisoned because he doesn't turn all green, but he actually does. Oops. He actually does. If you check his neck, he is supposed to. I guess it's not uh, guaranteed poison, though. Why am I dodging? Why am I dodging? Why am I dodging? Are these even reaching? Barely. Hey -oh! Yep, that is all Super Space Turtle, baby. All Super Space Turtle. With the battle standard, I suppose. Worth mentioning. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Let's damage boost. Watch this. Take damage, we'll do extra damage. Honestly, does that do more? I don't know. Take damage to do extra damage. We could even just sit here and probably tank all these hits. It 
It's funny. All right. Clean. We probably could have just stood there literally for the whole fight. Or not the whole fight, the whole uh, second phase there and been completely fine, which is hilarious. You can sneak between the bullets, but it's just not worth it. Turtle problem. We did it. I think that's for beating the dragon while having the super space turtle. All right, we got the bullet. That's all we all we need. All we need. Do not go, otherwise we are actually maybe in, in a situation where we'll have a problem after goofing around like that, but I knew we weren't going to have to. Bop myself right between the eyes. Bye-bye. Back to the past for the final time. As this character, at the very least. Well, I've done this one already. We do get to come back and do it with the costume on. If you want to see what this is all actually about, just uh, zoom back four days on the channel. You'll see that I did indeed do the Convicts Pass already. All right. Called it one of the easier ones, so if we die on it, that's... Uh, ooh, yikes. For some reason, I feel like it's one of the ones that I've done the most. Maybe because it's all cool and hotline Miami. Miami. Miami-ish. Okay. In come the ads. You can actually stand on the curtains, which is a little odd. Should probably kill the ads. All the time, don't care. Stuck. Stuck in place, baby. What on earth are you doing there? On fire? Just trying to damage boost. You know. You know how I do. There we go. Yeah, like I thought. It is the easiest one. I guess I just I just stunk last time. Perfected. Perfect. Get in the car. Oh boy. Now he's done it. We can go back and talk to the elevator man to get our unlock. Because I don't think we get the unlock until we actually talk to him. And now Goopton is going to be available to have us purchase some items back in the breach. Face Melted Unlock. That's from 4 Magic Lamp Unlock. Tangler. Glass Guanstone. Glottal. A turtle Problem. All right. So apparently we couldn't get Glass Guanstones until we used our first Glass Stone at Shrine. Okay. Let me just double check here. Yep. We can indeed use the Alt Starting Gun. And Goopton has a chance to show up here. Uh, here it's either here or like here somewhere in, maybe it's on here i think it's on here uh to sell us some items so hold on how many credits do we need for the next one 15 so we can actually like buy a decent chunk of this stuff we can we can just buy both of them and hopefully remember that we don't want to do any other ones young slinger Within this wall of flesh, there is a soul that counts it. The, it's a creditor. Once rested, we will explore the gungeon anew. Find it us, and we may find it our interest entwined. Now let us rest. Oh ho ho. All right. Well. Did we get uh, Winchester and Frightful? Er, nope. Not Winchester. Uh, Grey Master and Frightful. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you. Everybody for watching. Extra special thank you to Outsu for supporting at the Go Team Gungeon tier, helping me do this full time. Super appreciate that. If you want a shout out in the video, go check out patreon.com slash retromation support at any tier. It'll be a really big help. Uh, it really just really just helps me uh, have some kind of security. Really, really appreciate it. But never required. Always appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. Subscribe for more. Enter the Gungeon, beat the Gungeon. Check out my channel for roguelike videos and more every day. At least four. Holy moly. How does he do it? Thank you, thank you. See you next time.